Hello, if you are new here, what's up? If you've been here before, what is good? We are in my room. I think this is the first time I'm filming in this little spot in my room without my regular camera. And that's just because I have been filming so much content. I keep saying that, but then I don't stop and actually upload videos because I have to edit them and you know I'm just making excuses but pretty much all my shit is full and I refuse to buy more memory cards because I feel like at that point it'll just enable me to procrastinate even longer and to do what I'm doing I'm in a weird mood right now I have a weekend of going out ahead of me and I just got margaritas with my mom last night I already feel like this weekend is going to take it out of me. Okay, one of my friends, Nat, is coming in tomorrow night at literally 9 p.m. If you know me, you know that I'm comfortably in bed by 9.30, okay? But I am, a, like, I will go out and party, and when we do, it's a feral time. But she's barely getting in at 9, and tonight, today's Friday, tonight I'm going out with this girl that I actually met through some of my guy friends, and, um, she is like in a kind of a similar situation within that friend group in that she's dating one of the friends and they're all roommates and i was in that exact situation where i was like the only girl that was kicking it with these guys because i was the girlfriend of one of the main guys um and so and she's kind of a tom like we just jive like immediately because the day that we met i wasn't even really drinking and she wasn't drinking so that's how you know you know what i mean i feel like i make friends with anybody when i'm a little drunk but for us to just be sober and be vibing all that to say i'm going out with her after this we're gonna like grab a bite and then maybe pop out but it's just gonna be a weekend y'all okay it's gonna be a weekend but i'm sorry for the rambling let's get into this cyber monday haul baby some of it is gifts some of it's for me but i love to share what i've bought so let's get into it first thing I want to talk a little bit about this company. I've actually hauled a couple of their pieces before, but girl, company is called Madon, which is an Italian word. I got a couple shirts from them, but they actually sent them to me for free. I was shopping their Cyber Monday haul and uh, I was asking, so what's cool, it's a small business, by the way. They design all their stuff but um i was looking for this particular shirt i'm about to show right now in a large for my brother i talked to them and they were like no actually we're we're not restocking anything so once they make it and it's out it's done and so anyway needless to say i got it in a small for myself because that was the only size left but this is their regulator tee oh my god it's so cool their shirts are such a good quality oh use this coupon code when you're checking out I was like, okay, like I was just gonna, I was like, there's a sale happening. Like the stuff is already on sale. They're like, no, use it, use it. And so I did, and it made my whole order free. And I even DM'd them and was like, is this an accident? Like I won't place the order until you let me know if this is an accident. And they're like, no. The code. <laughs> Got this for free. It was such a cute code too. Anyway, so this is the regulator tee. I love their shirts. Like, oh my god, I'm obsessed. Um. So that's what it looks like. It has like a little bio on there. This one's just so sick to me. Oh my God. So I got this one in a size small. And then the other one I don't really want to open because it's a gift. It's called their The Woo t-shirt. And this one is going to be a gift for my brother. So I'll put a picture of it on the screen. The other gifts I will actually unwrap. But because this one is a white shirt, I don't want to, when I do wrap it, it to get like munches from the wrapping paper you know what i mean so anyway madonna check it out baby they're so cool you see from the tissue paper i ordered something from ysl i actually smelt this in the in the airport at one of those like tax-free areas but i was like i know i could get this for cheaper on cyber monday and i did the ysl cyber monday um sale was going absolutely insane and so i got this ysl libre eau de parfum intense spray 
And I'm so excited. I always, always, always get my perfumes on Cyber Monday because it's just the best time to do it. I need to finish a perfume that I already have open right now. It's the Calvin Klein Obsession. That's one of my favorite wintertime scents because it's so, I don't know, more like warm and a little sophisticated. In the summer, I'm like living my best, you know, youthful, thoughty life. So I just embrace a different type of scent. But in the winter, scents like this and Calvin Klein Obsession you're with the family but you're also trying to be sexy you know what i mean i got a smaller bottle because i travel so cute it's still a good amount like this will last me especially since i just see this as more of a winter time scent um i'll need a new one by the time spring comes around should i spray it i should spray it on me how about we don't waste it oh that mist was nice Let her breathe. Oh my god, slay. It's different from what I normally go to for warm scents, but I'm obsessed. Also, the mist on it is so nice. I think this is my first YSL perfume, honestly. I'm a fan. I smell like a rich auntie, and that's really what I was aiming for, so... There's that. Next, I got this Legion post-workout. I just bought their pre-workout. Um, and I, it made me tweak, but that's okay. I love their post-workout. It's pretty much just creatine. They're having a pretty good sale. I also have a couple of friends who have coupon codes. So I use one of their codes. I wish I could give them like both. You know what I mean? I could put two codes in at once, but I have to alternate between friends because I can't do that. So, um, but yeah, they're like little fitness influencers and they love this shit. And the first time I ever tried legion was actually one of my friends um i won one of her giveaways and she sent me this post-workout drink and i really like it it's like i just have a really hard time drinking anything after a workout if it's really sweet so like protein that tastes like tastes like vanilla milkshake it just like makes me nauseous after a hard workout i need something savory i need like a piece of meat or something you know what I mean, though? Like, the sweetness sometimes is just ugh, disgusting. But this, so this is in the flavor watermelon, but the one I had before it was fruit punch. And I really liked it because mixed with water, it was more of a juice instead of, like, a shake taste. You know what I mean? It was almost a little savory. Uh, so, yeah. And then I was with my friend Sabrina. We went to the gym out here, and she had this one in watermelon. And I tried it and I really like that one too. So yeah, check them out. If you work out, I'm not big into like supplements. I'm pretty bad at being consistent, which I think kind of defeats the purpose, but I'm trying my best. Okay. I'm just not really, I don't post about the gym. I don't, it's not my identity. It's just not my identity. I admire people who are like, that is their life because it's kind of badass, but I can't make it my life. I don't know. I mean, I am passionate about it because it makes me feel good. But yeah, you catch my drift. And if you don't, that's too bad. The girl we ordered from Fenty Baby. Okay, I forgot which ones were gifts. Wow, this is kind of extra. It was like a big box for literally three little lippies. But that's okay. Uh, they were having a crazy sale and Rakuten Cash back, baby. Do you guys remember when Rakuten was called Ebates? back in the day it's crazy and they used to ask influence they used to pay influencers to advertise for them and now they're literally well now they're Rakuten but now they're on the back of like the biggest soccer player jerseys you know what I mean it's just crazy anyway I got a few lippies because my current gloss balm from them is pretty much out um and that's so this one's the shade fussy Dude, ignore my calluses. That was disgusting. I'm so sorry if you saw that. This is the shade Fussy. This is the one that I've had before. And she is like... Mm. She's just juicy. She's everything and more. I can't remember if I got this one as a gift or not. Not one of them as a gift. At least. Maybe two of them. Then I got um, this Fenty... This Gloss Balm Heat. So this is their plumping one which i've never tried 
oh, I think this one's mine. And this is in the shade Hot Chocolate Heat. I've been liking browns lately. So what I don't like is that it um, doesn't look like it has shimmer in it. And I'm really a shimmer guy. Oh, it would look good with this. What shade is this? Okay, wait, should I just try this one on? Should I just make this mine? I'm deciding right now that this one's going to be mine. <laughs> oh! It smells like the Tarte Lip Injection one. They probably use the same shit. It smells a little better than that, though. I'm kind of sad, though. I like the OG scent of these. Wow, it goes with the liner that I'm wearing spectacularly. I'm wearing two liners, actually. Both are from e.l.f. Okay. Oh, that little glare. We'll see if she starts to burn. Um, I think the color's giving. And I'm getting whiter, but I'm usually a little bit tanner, so I think this is going to look even better. Okay, we'll see if she burns after time. Um, and then the last one I got was just another regular lip gloss in the shade Fenty Glow. I've yet to try this one. This one's pretty too. She's a little lighter, a little more like corally. Ooh, so I'll probably keep one of them. I haven't decided which one. Give the other to a friend. I need to think about what shade would look better on her because we. We have different skin tones, so I think one would look better on her than me. And I think it might be this one, Corals. Not that that was a straight-up coral, but it had more of a coral undertone than Fussy. Those ones, sometimes, they don't really give on me. Like, they don't really give. <laughs> but anyway, moving right along. Next up, I got from Lululemon. I got this fanny pack. I actually gave my mom one in black. I had a gift card and I love using gift cards when there's a sale because you can just get way more for your money. Um, so I, I don't know. I like Lululemon leggings, but the gift card wasn't enough for a pair of leggings and I don't need any more leggings right now. So I was like, what is it good enough? What is it enough for? And they were having a little sale and it was like a perfect amount for a fanny pack and I will use the shit out of a fanny pack so um I've been wearing this black one that I just got off of Timu uh but I thought this since I already have a black one this like sage green I love sage literally look my bed color I mean this is a little darker this is maybe more olive green um but I like it and I always see my mom wearing hers so this is the everywhere belt bag and it's not the I think it's the one liter one but it's a smaller one just wear it like that dude honestly i could go for the monochromatic look today look at my pants you feel me like you know what i mean the all green is that extra i don't know i think that kind of gives went on base with my mom she's a veteran so she has access to base and all that stuff but anyway we went to not the commissary, but like the store, other stores that they have over there. We were just Christmas shopping. Um, this is actually on Black Friday that we were Christmas shopping. And I saw this shirt and I was obsessed with it for myself. But then I looked online and I could get a way better deal if I waited to Cyber Monday and use like cash back. So I did that. Um, I bought it off of Belk like a department store it's from the men's section and it's a collab. So it's a department store that has multiple brands, right? So they carry this lucky brand. If you guys know lucky brand, like lucky brand jeans did a collab with Guinness, like the beer. If you know me at all, if I've ever drank a beer in front of you, I'll, I'd put money on the fact that it was a Guinness because that's pretty much the only beer that I actually enjoy. I'll drink a Miche with a Modelo, but, like, a Miche is barely just beer. You know what I mean? It has so much other shit in it that makes it not taste like beer anymore. But the only beer I'll drink straight up is Guinness. Like, I, and I love it. I love Guinness. Like, when I was living in my apartment, that was 
one of the only constants in the fridge at all times. But so anyway, besides the fact that I love Guinness and I feel like Lucky Brand and Guinness is such a smart collab, look at how fucking dope this shirt is. I'm like, let me not light it on fire. Look at this shirt. It's kind of giving Harry Potter now that I'm looking at it. But I've never watched Harry Potter, by the way. E awkward. But um, is it not maybe the coolest thing you've ever seen? They have the year right here, 1759. The classic. Nothing on this sleeve, but look at the tag. I mean, it buttons down, but the buttons are kind of tucked. I mean, this, oh, with this lip too. Girl, this shirt is giving. I am obsessed with this. I'm obsessed with this. I literally, I have nothing else to say. Oh my God. And then the tags, I don't even want to take the tags off. So the original price was $119. I got it for like 60 and I'm getting cash back on it. So it was like under 60. But look at that. Oh my God. I'm totally going to save the tag. How cool is that? Oh my God. Anyway. Yeah. And then it just says like the lucky tag. Bro, I, there, I rarely like fangirl over brands. I don't ever really. Like I'm not a brand girly. But I, I actually could not resist that. And such good material. It's like sweater material. I do not know if you guys heard my dog barking, but another package just got delivered literally as I'm filming this video and it is a Cyber Monday package. So it's lit. Where did we leave off? Oh, the shirt. Giving. Giving. Like actually giving. Let's just open the one that just came in because I'm really excited about this one. <laughs> did a little damage at Laneige. Laneige. There were a few free items when you spent a certain amount and stuff. So I think this was one of them, but this is the besties set. No, actually, I think I paid for this one. Whatever. This is the besties set. This is the brand. Maybe I'm saying it wrong, but this is the besties set. That was so cool. The only thing I've ever tried from them is their lip sleeping mask. This one in like the original berry flavor. And I'm obsessed. Into the bag. Into the bag we go. All right. First thing, these were on sale. Such a good sale. This is the Lip Glowy Balm in Berry. I have been wanting to try this in, for so long. It's like a tinted balm, but I'm hoping that it has a similar texture to the mask. It's probably going to be thinner, but I'm hoping it's good in a different way because the only problem with the mask is that you have to dip your finger in it and it's just not convenient to have in your bag. But this, girl, this, on the other hand, is super convenient to have in your bag. How cute is that? He's so cute. And the packaging is, like, matte. It's really nice. Okay, I already have so much on my lips. Whoa, they're clear. I already have so much on my lips, so I'm not going to put more, but I do really want to. <gasps> there she is. She's coming out. I'm kidding. It doesn't smell that intense, but cute. Yeah, so I got one of those for me. This was another free sample. This is just like a silk eye sleeping mask. I don't know if I'll actually use that. Maybe for the plane. Okay, I think this is another free sample. I don't know. The Glowy Makeup Serum. I think you put this on as a base. Helps makeup. Okay, it locks in moisture and then helps makeup last longer. So it's almost like a priming serum. That's kind of cool. Oh, that is so cute. What the fuck, bro? Look at how tiny it is. And pink. Oh my god. That's actually a good amount of serum. Like that entire thing is filled. Okay, Soleil. Also, love the idea of a serum as a primer because I always. I never prime. I just put on moisturizer. But if it has the intention of making makeup last longer, that's pretty cool. All right. Oh, okay. Well, here's another. Um, this is this, like the water mask. So another one of those. 
cute little stocking stuffer for sure. I will save this to put in a stocking. By the way, lips are tingling, but not as much as the Too Faced lip injection. Also, if I'm slouching, I'm sorry. Let me not. I did get a couple of the lip sleeping masks. These are the things that everybody talks about that I fell in love with. So this one is just their original sleeping mask. The berry one. I'm giving this away as a gift. And then I also got this one, which is in the flavor Sweet Candy. Other one is Berry. This one's Sweet Candy. Berry one is more... They do have a little bit of a tint to them, so I would say, you know, be warned. I really wanted to get the chocolate one because, again, I've been into, like, the browns. But I think that was just... The one that I had bought for my aunt was the berry, and it came with a mini, like, a equivalent of this, but in the chocolate. And I was so excited because I'm like, oh, a little bit of a tint. Like, I want to get the full-size one for myself. And they didn't have it. So I'm wondering if they were just testing the waters when they put that out, or I don't know. Oh, they sent me a bunch of little mini samples of this. Two of the moisturizer and one of their hyaluronic serum. And then, last but not least, we have this little pack. This isn't a set, I don't think. They just put everything together. But anyway, we have another mini lip sleeping mask. Again, really great for the stocking stuffer moment. This is their Cream Skin Sarah Peptide Toner and Moisturizer. Interesting packaging for it. It looks like a milky toner. Then I got the Sika sleeping mask. Moisturize, soothe, soften. Okay. So kind of like their water mask, but not <laughs> different. I like these masks that you can just kind of, oh, it's creamy, that you can just kind of rub in and fall asleep with on. What's the difference between the two? Like, what is it? They're so cute. This one is hydrate, brighten, soften. And this one is moisturize, soothe, soften. So pretty much the same. <laughs> um, but we'll give them a try. The, oh, a sample of the lip treatment balm. So I don't know what the difference between the sleeping mask and the lip treatment balm is. But I was definitely interested to try it. And Okay. You could really see how little they give you with these samples in this one. Yeah, they, their Cyber Monday thing was like, you could get so many things for free. This one's white. Interesting. You could get, this one smells like coconut and kind of like cat litter. Am I tripping? Dude, what the fuck? <laughs> Maybe that's why this one isn't talked about. But yeah, their, their Cyber Monday deal involved so many little samples. So that's, I think a lot of these came from that. And then this is the Water Bank Blue Hyaluronic Cream Moisturizer and serum so i think another two maybe samples i have a lot of hyaluronic stuff from them to try so i'll probably just give these away anyway really excited though really really excited i need to remember who i bought these for because i think i bought myself one and i'm pretty excited about it let me not throw anything away too because bro last time i did a little elf haul and i hauled this liquid highlighter and I swear to you, I don't know where it is. I think it got wrapped up in trash. So I'm like, now I need to be so paranoid that these little things just don't end up in the trash. Because that was one of the things I tried it on in that video. That was one of the things I was so excited to get. And it worked so good. And it's gone. And I'm sad about it. But anyway, that wasn't that much stuff. I thought for sure that I bought more. Maybe more stuff is on the way. I did shop on Elf for Cyber Monday that whole, because that, I bought so many things. Um, I made it its own video. That's already up. My Black Friday is already up, and I give a lot of gift ideas in there. So uh, check those out. But that's all. I guess that's all. I thought I did way more damage, but I guess I didn't go that hard this year. I was just really excited about the things that I did get. So anyway, hopefully you found this somewhat entertaining or enjoyed it in any way um i'm really getting excited for the holidays my room's a fucking mess now so i really 
need to clean that up, but not clean too hard and definitely not go up the middle. Thank you so much for this video. Change